Have you ever wondered how the ancient practice of reading stars and planets, today known as horoscopes, originated? Picture this. The year is roughly 2000 BC and we're in Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. As the day gives way to the night, a group of early astrologers turn their gaze towards the heavens. They observe the dance of celestial bodies across the night sky, recording their movements with an accuracy that is truly awe-inspiring. These ancient astrologers weren't merely fascinated by the beauty of the stars and planets. They believed that these celestial bodies held the answers to life's most profound questions. The movements of the stars and planets were seen as directly linked to events on Earth. A comet streaking across the sky could signal a good harvest, while the appearance of a particular constellation might herald a time of conflict or change. It was these observations and beliefs that led to the creation of the first zodiac wheel. The early astrologers divided the celestial sphere into 12 equal parts, each one associated with a constellation. These became the 12 signs of the zodiac that we're all familiar with today. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. Each sign was believed to possess its own unique characteristics and influence over human behavior. For example, those born under the sign of Leo were seen as natural leaders, while those of the Gemini sign were thought to be versatile and adaptable. This was the dawn of astrology, a time when the ancients looked to the stars for guidance, seeking to understand the mysteries of life and the universe. It was a time of discovery and exploration, of connecting the dots between the celestial and the terrestrial, and of assigning meaning to the seemingly random movements of the stars and planets. Thus, the stage was set for the birth of what we now know as horoscopes. But how did this Mesopotamian practice reach other parts of the world? The answer lies in the rich tapestry of human history, a saga of cultural exchange and adaptation. As the cradle of civilization, Mesopotamia was a hub for the spread of many practices, astrology included. It traveled along the well-trodden paths of trade and conquest, reaching the far corners of the ancient world. One of the first stops on this celestial journey was Egypt. The Egyptians, known for their profound fascination with the afterlife and the cosmos, readily embraced astrology. They integrated it into their own beliefs, using it as a tool to understand the whims of the gods and the mysteries of the Nile. Next, astrology ventured to the intellectual heart of the ancient world, Greece. The Greeks, with their pantheon of gods and penchant for philosophy, found astrology irresistible. They took the zodiac signs, originally based on the Mesopotamian lunar calendar, and assigned each one to a god from their mythology. Ares, for example, was associated with Ares, the god of war, while Pisces was linked to Poseidon, the god of the sea. The journey of astrology didn't stop there. It made its way to the Indian subcontinent, where it was absorbed into the rich spiritual tapestry of Hindu culture. Known as Jyotish, or the science of light, Indian astrology evolved into a complex system that incorporated elements of karma and reincarnation. Everywhere it went, astrology was adapted, expanded, and personalized. Each culture added its own flavor, creating a diverse array of astrological traditions, yet all shared a common thread, a desire to understand the cosmos and our place within it. From the fertile plains of Mesopotamia to the bustling streets of ancient Athens, from the sacred temples of Egypt to the verdant heart of India, the practice of astrology wove its way through the fabric of human history. And so it grew, from a regional curiosity to a global practice, a testament to our timeless fascination with the stars. Astrology was truly becoming a global phenomenon. So, when did these astrological observations turn into what we now recognize as the horoscope? Well, to answer that, we need to journey back to Hellenistic Egypt around the second century BC, this period was a melting pot of cultures, ideas, and beliefs, and it was here that the first seeds of the horoscope were sown. Astrologers of this era started to realize that the vast cosmic ballet wasn't just a spectacle to be admired, but also held keys to understanding the individual human experience. No longer were the stars and planets merely silent observers in the sky. They began to be seen as active participants in our lives, their positions and movements at the time and place of our birth shaping our personalities, our destinies, even our day-to-day -day lives. This was a revolution in thought. Astrologers started to create personalized predictions, individualized readings based on the exact moment and location of a person's birth. 
it was a monumental shift from generalized observations to personalized insights. These astrologers began to map the heavens at the precise moment of birth, charting the positions of the sun, moon and planets. The belief was that these celestial bodies in their specific configurations held profound insights into a person's character and destiny. These early horoscopes were a far cry from the daily, weekly or monthly forecasts we're familiar with today. They were intricate, detailed and deeply personal. But the fundamental principle was the same. The idea that our lives are somehow intertwined with the cosmos, that the heavens hold a mirror to our inner selves. Over time, these complex birth charts were distilled into 12 distinct categories or signs, representing the 12 divisions of the zodiac. This simplified system allowed for broader interpretations and made horoscopes more accessible to the masses. But at its core, the horoscope remained a tool for self-understanding and guidance, a cosmic roadmap to navigate the journey of life. And so the horoscope was born, a testament to humanity's enduring fascination with the cosmos and our place within it. From the sandy shores of Hellenistic Egypt to our modern digital age, the horoscope continues to inspire, intrigue, and offer insight into the mysteries of existence. But what about today? How has astrology survived in our scientific age? Astrology, a discipline as old as civilization itself, has not just survived but thrived in our modern world. The 20th century in particular saw a significant resurgence of interest in astrology, especially during the New Age movement of the 60s and 70s. A time of exploration and questioning, this era was ripe for a revival of ancient wisdom and mysticism. Astrology, with its rich history and captivating symbolism, fit the bill perfectly. It was during this period that the horoscope gained a whole new level of popularity. Daily, weekly and monthly horoscopes became a staple in newspapers and magazines around the world offering guidance and predictions based on astrological signs. And astrology wasn't limited to just horoscopes either. Astrological compatibility, birth charts, and even astrological forecasting for businesses became more mainstream. Fast forward to the 21st century and astrology has taken on a new life in the digital realm. Today there's an app for everything, including astrology. These modern tools offer daily horoscopes, personalized birth chart readings, and even real-time planetary movement tracking, all at the touch of a button. Online horoscopes and astrology websites have also gained a massive following. They're a treasure trove of information, providing everything from basic sign characteristics to in-depth articles on astrological theory. And it's not just the believers who are intrigued. Even skeptics find themselves drawn to these platforms, if only for the entertainment value or out of sheer curiosity. What's more, social media platforms are now buzzing with astrology content. Memes, infographics and even astrology-themed accounts are all the rage, further cementing astrology's place in our modern culture. But why this enduring fascination with astrology? Perhaps it's the allure of the unknown, the quest for self-understanding, or the comfort of seeing our lives reflected in the stars. Whatever the reason, one thing is clear. From ancient times to the digital age, astrology has managed to captivate us. So, why do horoscopes matter? What impact have they had throughout history? As we delve into this fascinating topic, we find that horoscopes have had a profound influence on historical events and decision-making, shaping the course of history in ways we might not even realize. From the earliest civilizations, kings and leaders have sought the counsel of astrologers to guide them through tumultuous times. Take, for instance, the Roman emperors, who would not make a move without first consulting the stars. Their decisions, influenced by astrological predictions, had far-reaching implications, affecting the rise and fall of empires. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, when astrology was considered a scholarly tradition. It was intertwined with medicine, meteorology and alchemy, influencing scientific thought and progress. Astrologers were revered figures, their knowledge used to predict everything from weather patterns to disease outbreaks, shaping societal responses to these events. In more recent history, the impact of horoscopes has not waned. Celebrities and influential figures, from Ronald Reagan to Madonna, have been known to consult astrologers. Their decisions, swayed by horoscope readings, have had ripple effects in the worlds of politics, entertainment and beyond. And let's not forget the personal impact. For many, horoscopes provide a sense of direction and understanding, a way to make sense of life's ups and downs. 
They offer an avenue for self-reflection and personal growth, influencing individual attitudes and actions. Of course, there's an ongoing debate between skeptics and believers. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are vague and general, easily applicable to anyone. But believers counter that there's more to astrology than meets the eye, citing its ancient roots and complex mathematical underpinnings. Regardless of where you stand on this debate, one thing is clear. Horoscopes have left a significant mark on our history. Through their influence on leaders, their role in science and culture, and their personal impact on individuals, they've shaped the course of human events in countless ways. Whether you believe in horoscopes or not, their impact on history is undeniable. 